I'm gonna try this off script so let's not make it like a well edited well thought out review these are just like I guess first impressions I usually watch a movie twice before reviewing it had to scrap the last video just because I didn't like it and today we are looking at the movie Blue Spring or in this case Aoi is it Aoi? Aoi Haru the Japanese title of the movie so let's just get the basics out of the way this movie was released in the year 2002 so almost 20 years ago um, by the recording of this video this movie was directed and written by and I'm gonna try to pronounce the name Doshikai Doshiaki Toyoda it's almost like Toyota and based on Tayo uh, Dai, Tai, Dai, Daiyo Matsumoto. Uh, he wrote the manga of the same title, and just trying my best because I am learning a little bit of Japanese, so I think it's best to at least attempt to read these names. Spoiler warnings, just because I will be saying a lot of plot points of this movie, and you've had over twenty, like about 20 years to watch this and I know it's foreign to a lot of you but I'm just gonna go with it. I first found out about this movie through some YouTube video uh, a fake music video edited by this channel that does a bunch of music videos so I decided to look up what the movie was and here it is just to get this out of the way this movie does have a soundtrack that I really do like and a very gritty like kind of sad gritty look to it I, I can't explain it you just have to look at it yourself there is this there are these shots that are just like nasty to look at so the movie starts out with a couple of friends they're all delinquents and they're a gang I just it doesn't really feel like they're a gang most of the movie because they're kind of all separated as it goes on and they do have this one stupid game that I would never even want to attempt of clapping and holding onto a rail on the side of a building. This is where we meet the leader of the gang and I guess he's a gang leader because he can do the most claps doing this stupid game. And when this is one thing I gotta say to, about this casting is the leader of the gang is too pretty looking. He's just like, like what is this? Like compared to the manga, he's like looks like look, looks like he's supposed to be a tough guy, but and this is like looks like you could kick their ass easily. Like, come on, what what is up with this? I guess it's to get the teen girl audience or something. Anyway, the most comments I've seen of the people gawking at the cast is the one character named Yukio, the one with the glasses. And speaking of which, the rest of the characters do look like. You know, they look like they could put up a fight, but this guy is like, nah. It's just supposed to be like a coming of age type of movie. You know how you lose your friends over time you, as you grow up. That's what it feels like, and it's like nothing you can do about it. And also just like growing up and trying to figure out what you want to do with your life because these kids are going in the wrong directions, that's for sure. Our main character, I which I forgot his name, I'm not going to look him up right now. Uh, what's his name? Kujo is not really sure what he wants to do with life. It's his last year at the high school, which is a all boys high school, by the way. So no women in this. He's kind of being disinterested in all this like delinquent stuff. I guess it's just a part of growing up and not sure what to do with his life. So that's basically the plot for the main character. While the other characters are also, some of them are facing that same problem such as Yukio which that name is just like the only reason I can remember that one is just because it sounds close to Yu-Gi-Oh two of the friends still want to keep up with this dumb gang stuff that, that you, you just have to grow out of one of them is like an outcast that just hangs out with them wanting to be part of the gang so as the story goes on the friends start to part ways and the most memorable one of them all is Yukio because he just like straight up murder someone. I don't really understand the reasoning behind this. I think it's a little more easy to understand in the manga because I did read a little tidbits of it just to look at the art and he just like doesn't know what to do with his life so I don't, really don't understand why he did this. 
Sound off in the comments below if you know. Actually, I'd really like to understand that part. God, I hate this look of this bathroom. I don't understand this. This is disgusting. Like, who does this? I, speaking of which, there is another bathroom scene which goes a little grosser, but I'm not gonna give that detail away. I will say that this is a very interesting shot. I like the cinematography at least. It's very gritty and disgusting. As soon as he's done with that, he goes and plays guitar smoking in the... Smoking on the stairs. One of the teacher catches him, which I don't understand like why that would be a big problem when this whole school is like filled with graffiti everywhere. That's two friends down. One goes to jail, one's murdered. And then there's another one that which just kind of drifts away since the guy he was following around murdered someone. I'm only going to talk about that scene in specific detail because it's just crazy. It's the craziest part of the movie and it's the most interesting shot out of the whole thing. There are some other shots where it's like, it feels very amateur. Some other shots where it feels like a home movie. I think that's what they were going for anyway, but some of the action scenes were definitely very amateur but in a way that doesn't feel on purpose. Not going into any detail, one of the dudes turns into an actual threat that looks like, you know, this guy would have kicked your ass if you saw him. Man, this is bullying in 2022 right here painting a man's face black and posting his picture on instagram or twitter let's see what happens there this is the new wave of bullying trying to get someone cancelled i know i said that this guy looks like he could kick your ass but there's this fight right here and it looks fucking stupid this is like the dumbest shit i've seen i don't think there's anyone that's commented on how dumb this looks i think this is one of those things that was probably vision to be seen as a manga or maybe even an anime and in real life this does not look tough or cool in any way it just looks stupid i think i'm done talking about all the stuff in this movie that i wanted to talk about so this movie is terribly not very long at all it's very short you can watch this in one go not having a pause or anything doesn't feel like it takes up your whole day, which is a very welcome thing in the year 2022 where every movie is like two hours or three hours long. I do love the soundtrack to this movie and the look of it I do love, but it does have this very amateurish look to it and shots, it, all of it just has a very amateur thing to it. But in the end, I do enjoy this movie. I give it a 7 out of 10. Maybe an 8 out of 10 actually. I'd recommend it. it. Probably takes you back to those early years of growing up. I guess if you're like 17 or 18. Of drifting away from your friends and just having to grow up. Even if it's not as crazy as one of your friends killing someone. Thank you for watching this kind of review type video. I'll try to make something that's a little more well put together. Again, I'll try that. But if you enjoyed this, give it a like or something.